Happy Sunday, Glee Club. My name is Joseph Schwind, and I am your host. This is the Sunday Special. On today's episode, Jack C. Calhoun, director of the Purdue Varsity Glee Club, Bill Griffel, on exactly how many people he had a direct hand in on losing their jobs after the engineering debacle on Friday night. But first, here's Matthew with your call times. What's up, Glee Club? It's Matt Rob here, and I got your call times for the week. So this Friday, we have our first vocalist rehearsal from 6 to 9, and this Sunday, we have our second vocalist rehearsal from 1 to 6. Um, also, keep in mind that we still have sectionals and new members going on this week, and that's all I've got for you. Back to you, Joseph. Thank you, Matthew. Well, Glee Club, if you're anything like me, you wonder what some people get up to outside of the regular daily rehearsals where we see everyone. So for this Sunday special, I thought we might take a deep and close look into the morning runs of Dagan Knight. Well, hello there, Glee Club. Uh, you may know me as Dagan Knight. It is currently 6 a.m. on Wednesday morning, and you are staring at the intersection between US 52 and Cherry Lane. I just got the light that tells me I'm allowed to cross the street, even though I just did it. Don't jaywalk, gentlemen. It's a crime in Alcatraz. But I think I'm about to do a few little bits on my run or my run over the next few days. I'd love to invite you to come and watch. I've got two seconds. Hey there, Glue Club. Welcome to 231 plate at 2111 Lindbergh Road. Now, I know you all may be having the burning question, because I know I do. Dagan, there's no sun here. What's with the sunglasses? Well, I thought, because it's too dark to do anything else, uh, for the rest of this run, whenever I'm underneath a street light, I would uh, give you some totally real, totally true fun facts about the sun and how it wants to kill your eyes and skin. Now, I can go into the chemistry behind it for you, but I won't because this is in a lecture. Fun fact number one about the sun, it's an ambush predator. That means you always have to be ready. It's always just over the horizon and it wants you dead. This has been sun fun fact number one. Eggly Club, digging again. Sun is trying to peek up over the horizon. Cheeky cheeky but we won't let it get anywhere near me. Here's sun fun fact number two. Did you know that the sun has a surface temperature of 5,800 degrees Kelvin? Which means if you tried to fly a plane on the surface of the sun, it wouldn't. This has been sun fun fact number two. Hey, Glee Club, it's time for sun fun fact number three. Have you ever looked up the horizon and thought, man, that's a pretty color? Well, some people may not know this, but that color actually serves a purpose. The sun, like many animals, is poisonous. And that's a warning sign to other bigger suns that they shouldn't eat our sun. This has been Sun Fun Fact number three. Hey, Glee Club. It's time for Sun Fun Fact number four. Did you know the sun speaks to me? It tells me things. It tells me the time for man, for trees, for the mountains speckled the earth, when all there was was charred, cracked, and boiled fissures that rose up from the ground. It tells me many things. This has been Sun Fun Fact number four. Stop. Stop it. Stop it, I've heard enough. Stop! Stop! Hey Glee Club, time for Sun Fun Fact number six. Did you know the atoms in your body were, are, and always will be stardust? And if you don't die outside of our solar system, the sun will reclaim you at one point.
Well, unfortunately, Glee Club, that's all the time we have for today. As always, thanks for tuning in, and we will see you next time.